Okay, so I've adjusted the camera slightly. Uh, the next problem I've got is the servo, as I just was talking about, in the arm. Uh, so the arm suddenly jerks forward and backwards unexpectedly, and I think it could, <laughs> it could just keep moving and break itself to pieces. So I've actually just loaded in the... Um, uh, I'm about to load in the the uh, the uh, software, the EZV software for it. So we'll just go back online, and it's this right arm, the one I've got a problem with. So if I turn it on, it has a nasty habit of uh, turn on the left arm, and the left arm is just slightly adjusting itself, going back and forward just so it's happy. Um, but the right arm does what you just saw. Um, it kicks right back. So that's why I've got to turn it back off again. And it is doing that. So I'm going to I'm going to take the arm off. Uh, change get get into the server because the server is obviously just not connecting properly. Um, and sort that out so that's that's my next project so arm on the bench time okay right i've got the arm off as you can see arm off again um this is the pot that is playing up uh it gets loose and we're looking straight down that is the um let me just pan out so you can just get a perspective of what's going on. There's the arm. And there's the hand. I haven't got much room on my workbench, as you can see. Uh, so let's just put that back down there. So that is the rotation um, section. And this pot, when I push it, down it connects so it's, it's either not sitting completely inside there or the um the pot itself is faulty i can feel it's not actually sitting in there quite right either so i'm going to change that for a metal pot as you can see i'm redoing the pots for the um in move upper arm this is the pot that sits inside inside here which is the one that can uh, controls the rotation forward and backwards of the arm I'll get the whole arm up and uh, in a better view in a minute but that that is the one uh, that was the this is the same pot that used to sit well that sits inside there uh, the problem I was having with it 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 had pushed out of this container so it wasn't coming through properly um, so I've made the whole slightly bigger and made sure it sat right inside there and I've also just put a tiny bit of um, uh, hot hot melted hot melt glue inside there to hold the pot in uh, from inside um, so now that that is sitting about one and a half mil deeper than it was so uh, I think what was happening is is the spigot was just not quite touching inside not quite locating inside the hole um, let me just get the camera right above so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, well, I'm trying to set the um, reset the whole shoulder forward backwards. Uh, that's the arm swing forward backwards uh, to a different setting as I had before because originally I had it set at I think uh, 70 or something, which was which was wrong. I've now set uh, my servo at 10. Uh, it's, uh, which I've just done a few seconds ago. So I've set the server at 10 and now I've adjusted that to be straight in line. So uh, I think on the picture, Gail always does, you can, you can show the, the pencil mark against there. So um, now I can, I haven't fixed that in, that's just sitting in there for the time being. Um, but at 10, so now if I would take back to one that's going to swing backwards a, a, a little bit probably not enough actually i might do that but if i if i go make sure i don't get the cables fouled if i go up to 180 
I haven't done this yet, so this is live on uh, my camera. I can get that arm right up. So that is... There's 160. So that arm will be right above his head. Go back to the 10. Just being a bit careful because now all the cables are fixed down. I don't want to pull out that cable because it'll go berserk. I think 10's a bit. Probably not enough, but reading, I'm just having what I'm doing this. I'm just reading Gail's website at the same time, trying to see what he means because he's talking about um, maybe he means 33 rather than the 10. So I'm going to put that to 33, which will give more of a swing backwards if you saw what I mean. So I'm going to put that to 33 there and then line that up. Yeah, I think 33 is probably what he means. So that would be 30, that'll be 33 degrees arm moving. It's at default at 30 degrees. So the arm will move back 33 degrees. So if we take that to zero. Yeah, that, that would be the maximum arm swing back. So in other words, the arm pointing straight down, swinging back. And then we'd be back up. Yeah, that'll get that'll be above his head. So I think that makes sense. So I'm gonna stick it at 30, put it back in. But the whole movement's working very well. It's all it's all um, stop juddering because I've set that pot thoroughly into the into the container now, uh, and I've rewired all these all these cables. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with how I'm going to move the cables around here, but I'm trying to tidy up the cable here as well. Um, but that pot's staying in there nicely now, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit of uh, hot melt on it and uh, seal it off. Okay, so I've now set that at 30 degrees and I've just used these tiny little um, screws that come with the survey kits to, to screw it in because I was just uh, reviewing Gail's video and uh, I've always used hot melt but it was, it was really messy but obviously that's the way it's meant to be um, so just make sure they're fully tight. Then I connect that up. Set that back down to, to 30, 30 odd degrees. It's slightly, it's slightly moved actually since I've screwed it in, so I might adjust that again. Uh, just to get that into the 30. That's the way to do it. Right, so that's that at 33. We are straight down there. If you have a look at Gail's video on this, uh, which I hadn't looked at for months, about, about six months, uh, it does explain it very well in there. Um, and I'll tighten that up.
but I guess it's just gonna be tricky. Nigel. Hello, Lord. Shall I show you what I can do with my right arm now? Yes, go on. I'd like to see that. Okay. Now you have adjusted my arm potentiometer. I can now get my arm above my head. So I bend my bicep, rotate my arm and lift it up. Now I can get up to here and do this much better. That's really good, Nigel. Well done.